Yeah, I never thought I'd be a corporate person. Never thought I'd go into a big company and turn the cogs of a retailer. And the reason why that is is because I always thought I'd follow my passions and my creativity. And I actually get to do that in the organisation I work in for in a number of ways. Do lots of music with, for them and with them. But I also do a lot of stuff for diversity and inclusion. Uh, and it's not just segregated to LGBT stuff. I'm an ambassador for the LGBT committee and the group, which spans across the whole organisation. We've got about 5,000 members, which for a company that has 85,000 people in it, it's pretty good. Um, I'm an ambassador for the Gender Equality Network as well, which used to be the Women's Network. And then we realised that we were only getting women to the events and realised that wasn't really the audience we most needed to reach if we were going to make a difference on gender equality. And I'm also uh, an ambassador for the Working Parents Network as well, because we've got collectively around 35,000 working parents that work for the, co the company, all with their different issues and challenges. And some of those parents will also be raising LGBTQ kids. So that's really important for me to be able to interact with them to understand how they're dealing with that and if they need support. Um, one of the biggest things that's important for me is, is for people to feel comfortable being who they are. So with Pride, we have a big events in, across the organisation. We march at London Pride, we march at Manchester Pride, we march at York Pride and we march at Brighton. And there's quite a lot of cynicism out there about companies using Pride as marketing material. And there is a side to that that I kind of understand, but that's not the reason I do it through the business I work in. I do it because of my ex who lived in Turkey or in Cyprus. And I know that somebody out there in the world is going to be watching that on a television screen or an iPad or an iPhone or whatever and thinking, oh, there's people like me out there. It's okay to feel how I feel. And I also do it because I've got a responsibility as a human being. So not just as a corporate person that wants my business to be open, be accepting and be tolerant. We'll have people in the business that are homophobic. I've had instances of management that I've managed who have treated people not right and I've dealt with it and I've got rid of them. I've had customers saying that they don't want their fish served by that person because that person is clearly not straight. And that person has, that customer's been banned from my shop because I, I'm not, so, I don't want their money because I don't want that kind of attitude in my shop and I don't want my members of staff to feel threatened in their workplace. So I have a responsibility as a manager and a leader to make anybody feel welcome in the organisation and for them to know that if they experience homophobia, that I'm going to deal with that and I'm going I'm, I'm to make it sure that even if it's from a member of staff or a customer, I'm not going to tolerate it and I'll deal with it. But then as a human being, we all have a responsibility for each other. We live in a society, we all support each other. And I just think it's not good enough for me to just sit back and let everybody else do it. I have a responsibility to my 12 year old self, to all of you guys, to people that haven't come today because they were maybe scared of coming to this room. There'll be people in this school that were scared to come to this today, which is a real shame. But if the video goes up on intranet or clips are made, they might watch that on their phone later on when they don't think anyone's looking or when no one is looking. And this conversation that we're going to have together is really important to them. That's why I do it.